what a weekend I've had. So Friday night was pretty rough. Went out with Kyle Huber's. Shot two, found zero. And of course, I had to add my signature move, Mapes to one. So I said, well, I'm not going Saturday night. My wife's got to work at 9 a.m. Sunday. I'm not doing it. Not worth it. Sometimes I say stupid things. My wife took the kids to go see her dad yesterday. It's about 7 o'clock. I said, where are you at? She said, I'm still down in Allegan. Oh, well, what's a man to do? I'll buy his lonesome. So I grabbed the rifle, the 58 grain superformance, grabbed the thermal and the Fox Pro, and I headed south. I was going to go re-sight in with the 58s. So I sighted it in. Shot a couple clay pigeons at 100 yards. I'm ready. I headed back to the same farm. Because I knew them coyotes were going to be back out in that field mousing again. And I was right. I got there about a half hour before dark. There was already three out in the field. Mousing along the edge of that corn. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do in daylight. I tried some calling. They weren't having it. Tried a little bit of sneaking, but it was too bright. So I waited till dark. Once that sun finally went down, well, I think it went down. Sun went down, the moon came up, it was just as bright. Plus I had a dairy farm behind me that has about 15 million lights on it. So I'm trying to sneak across that field after dark and it still ain't dark. Anyway, I used the hills to my advantage. I snuck to the east. Got behind that hill. Start creeping up the corn. I got to about 200 yards from him. And I pulled out that Tony Tebby Green Nasty. <coughs> They're just over there like. And then they went back to playing. So I got back to sneaking. About 150 yards. I'm in the thermal. Watching. And the lead one throws his head up, takes off running. I click down that photon scope and that NS550 IR. I'm like, woof, woof, woof. And I'm watching him in the scope and I'm like, I maped him. Again. Takes off trotting and I get back in there and I'm like, <laughs> maped him again. Whatever. I'm going home. Start walking back to the truck. I go about 350 yards back to the truck and I turn around and scan again. And there's three more of them standing in the field. Just came out of the car. <sighs> so I load up a couple more 58 grains and I start sneaking along the corner. Now they were back at the farthest corner of this field. And I'm sneaking as quiet as I can. I'm about 250 out and I get on that green nasty again. I'm like, <coughs> they stop and look. Start walking towards me. And then they went back in the corn. I'm like, son of a gun. So I start walking up there even closer. I get to about 120 from the end of the corn. Turned on that photon. And got ready. And I got the thermal up and I'm watching. And I got that green nasty and I'm like. <coughs> All of a sudden, here comes a coyote. I know I'm in shooting distance. I'm like, alright, stupid. Take your time. <sighs> Shoot through the coyote. Don't peek, just shoot. <sighs> and I hear that whap, and I'm like, oh, he's dead, he's gotta be dead. Get back on that thermal, and he's spinning, and he's flopping, and he's trying to run. No, <laughs> you ain't going for it, son. And he falls over, takes his last breath. Just then, I look to the right. There's another coyote following behind him. <laughs> Dead. 
bad. And then the movie just dropped right to the ground, and I was like, man, I just doubled. I look back in the thermal, and I see something walking the edge of the car again. I'm like, oh, there's number three. Mess this up, Josh. Never doubled before, but I just tripled. I cannot believe that. My luck has changed finally. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Mary, and everybody else out there. Sent the landowner a message. I said I just killed three of them behind the dairy cows. And I sent all the guys on overdrive a message. I said, I just killed three of them. Jumping Jiminy, I done killed three of them. I made up for Friday night. I added an extra one. <laughs> I went out there and I started collecting my prizes. Not one. Not two. Landowner drove the truck out there and helped me load them up. That would have been a long drag. Very long drag. Oh, we do our celebrating, handshaking, talking about spots, and he says he ain't even showed me the good spots. The good spots? They got coyote sanctuaries? Coyote food plots, maybe? He's gonna show me them eventually. But I figured, hey, if they're moving tonight, I might as well go make the best of it and go make another stand. I go over to a gravel pit. Using TT Coyote Grab Ass. And here comes two of them over the hill. One of them stops, starts running down into the pit by a hundred yards. Whoop! <coughs> Mapes them. It's hundred yard broadside. I don't know why. I don't know how. All I know is I had three in the truck already, so I don't really care. Got my stuff, and I walk back to the truck. Yep. I'm a killer, except for that last one. I just didn't want to kill them all. Gotta have more to call. Wanted to give that one a fair chance. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.